Yeah, that's Belle. Welcome to another vlog. I'm editing it now, so time to do the intro and outro. And I hope you all enjoy the vlog. Seriously. Okay, my other Ulta order finally came. But when it came, it looks like a book came too from Harper Collins. I need to open that to the glass. Another anticipated release. I'm just so excited. Unfadeable by Maurice Rodas. Oh man, I got so many good books to read. And that's the back of it. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Harper Collins. Thank you. Now I'll open the Alt Order. I like this brand, so I wanted to try their toner. The CeraVe. I'm gonna get another hair mask, and I, I like this one a lot. Is there a few looks for look? And I really like uh, white polish, especially on like my toes. So it's hard to tell, but I got Lisbon Wants More by OPI. It's like a pale pink white. And this is just a different shade of white than I already have. It's like a, I can't even explain it, but strong as shell. So, try it in that. And I needed a matte white eyeshadow to put over my eye primer. I just got Ulta brand Purist now. Looks like it's a little broken, but that's okay. And I like this face mask. I had this on sale, like the container. Egg white pore mask by Skin Food. And the usual micellar water that's not even... It's a lot cheaper than I keep being out of, but I want something that's not horrible for my skin. And Drunk Elephant's a good brand, so I decided to try there. Drunk Elephant, E. Ryle's Milky Micellar Water. Micellar Water. And if I don't like it, I have tried Garnier's before. No, my vitamin C, so I got Micellar Cleanser Water, all in one brightening with vitamin C. And if I do like this, I can't wait for a sample too. I do like this, this would just be a backup when I'm in between. And while I was doing an order, I just want to hand out another backup of these two. Because I only use a drop of the caffeine, so it lasts a long time. But these go fast, so I need to the order. I just get more since they're so cheap. And all other things, the good things about Clinique's cheek pop blush pops. So I got a nude pop. <laughs> Looks really pretty. And lastly, I've seen a couple people talk about this powder for under the eyes. It's not really brightening. It's Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. And it's the Pro Filter setting powder. And it's the lavender. I like what I use under my eyes right now, but I just keep hearing too many good things about this. But I wanted to try it. And this, since I only use it for under my eyes, this will last forever. <laughs> same things. I can actually do some reading now.
Let me just show y'all. I've had a few recipes where I've needed an immersion blender. So many recipes call for it. So I got a KitchenAid. They didn't have like a cream colored to match the mixer. So I just got white. I'm excited. I don't think I knew it came with the cup, so that's pretty cool. Makes some easy smoothies. So, love that. Still getting caught up on Housewives. I'm on uh, Orange County and they're on a trip in Aspen and, and usually trips don't go very well. Well, they do, but then there's always like a blow up and I think it's gonna be with Noelle, of course. She is so annoying and she's so weird and I'm weird, but she's the bad weird. Like there's good weird and there's bad weird. And she's a, <laughs> it's a beautiful day today. It's still a little cold though. Hopefully <laughs> spring comes sometime. I think we might just skip spring and go from winter to summer. If summer even ever gets here. That, uh, so that's why I'm making soups before it gets too warm. I ordered, I did a grocery order that'll be coming tonight. And I did my finally do something out of the Instapot. But some of my soups that we love that I make, I'm gonna make those before it gets too hot. But that um, Instapot white chicken chili that I made yesterday, and we're gonna eat it again tonight, of course. So good, oh my goodness, it was good. With soups like that, like we like to eat it with uh, tortilla chips too. Sometimes my husband will break his up in it and like he gets a different flavor than me. I just use regular. Um, and sometimes we scoop, like he'll scoop like I do. And I put sour cream, he hates sour cream. And so I scoop some soup up with sour cream. It's just so good. And I only put a little bit in my bowl. I just, you can only do so many salads. And I don't want to get burnt out to where I'm not going to eat them anymore because I do want to keep that up so that was really good I'm loving that Instapot I haven't even tried the air fryer yet so I need to look through my cookbooks for that and see what I'm gonna try first with that as well I just hate all the cookbooks that are food that you would never eat <laughs> I guess because everything I like is unhealthy <laughs> it's like labeled comfort food like I don't know like I want food I'll actually eat and that I've heard of and that looks after I don't know how to explain it but Hard to find cookbooks full of good recipes, full of good food that you that look like you would eat them, like you've heard of before. I don't know, just normal recipes that normally I don't know how to explain it. Oh my god! I have this brown, smaller. But that goes in the kitchen with my cookbooks on it, and it needs to be white to match the other stuff. So I'm gonna try to paint it with this little brush that I have that looked a lot bigger on the website. So we'll see how this goes.
the Sunday, April 24th. Cleaning the house, washing the bed stuff, washing my car. Now I'm about to make the bed. Well, part of it, some of it's still washing, but put the sheets and my blanket on. And then my comforter's dry, still wash. But I need to clean the living room. I want to do some stuff outside because it's going to be 80. I think it was 80 yesterday, too. So it's beautiful, finally. Got my nails done the other day. This is kind of like the pale pastel purple I wanted one time. And they never were cutting them down to the length I wanted. So before my appointment, I would file them down myself to the length I wanted. So I just like them shorter because they just get in the way if they're any longer. Plus, I like square nails. And for some reason, the shorter they are, the better they look with the square, I think. So, really love them. Got my vlog post yesterday. I've already edited my book haul. That'll go up tomorrow. I just need to upload it. And my husband's off today, so I'm just getting stuff done. I need to go upstairs and do some stuff in the book room and then go in the little Alice in Wonderland attic room where all my red books are and get some books for another video. I need to prepare for another video. Get all the, my notes together for that. I want to reorganize this shelf in my bedroom at some point. I got the shelf in the kitchen where I put the cookbooks. I got it finished painted white. I didn't record the whole thing so it was like eight coats later. But I'll show that to you. I think I'm gonna make a smoothie soon with the stuff I got. Not open it in the pool yet. Usually I think we open it the last weekend of May. Or the first weekend of May. I can't remember. Just so it has time to warm the water up enough so when it is time for you to get in it, it's a perfect temperature. And ordered a couple months ago all like the chlorine and tablets I needed and stuff because last year there was like a shortage and to get like a $20 tub of chlorine tablets instead of $20 it was like up to like 90 or over 100 I found one thing of it for regular price and then after that I couldn't find any more but that lasted me so I was lucky that was crazy and then I finished I don't know what I've updated but we finished Freddy vs. the Family Curse Hunters of the Lost City the third Keepers of the Lost City I finished the first Hour of Shaw book and then I read the graphic novel adaptation right after in one city I've loved all of these. Can't remember how it's yet. Almost done with the second Atlantis book that comes out Tuesday, so I'm trying to get that done. I have a lot of reviews to write. <laughs> I'm reading the next Hour Shaw, the second book. I'm on the fourth Keepers of the Lost City. I'm reading The Prince of Nowhere, uh, The Garden Bone book, Skyborn, Sinead O'Hara. I'm just loving everything I'm reading, so. There's so many books for review right now, so. I'm reading more than one, because when they're sent to me for review, like I don't just keep them and then for, don't read them forever. Like I make them priority, priority, especially when the ones like to have an upcoming release. Why do you accept books if you're not gonna read them? <laughs> they could go to other people that would gladly take them and read them, so. And I want to read them, so I wanna get them. And I'm so grateful. And anyway, and today we'll have leftovers of the soup that I made last night. It's so good. I'll update y'all later. Okay, just a quick grocery haul. It'll be a smaller one again because Walmart doesn't have the monsters I get, so I have to get them at grocery store. But I had pretty much everything I needed for this week as far as meals go because a migraine took me out of commission the other day, so I didn't make one meal until a couple days later. Anyway. A lot of it's just repeat things that we get every week. Uh, strawberry and an original, two of them for my husband. More of my dip. More of my husband's pretzels for our work. Many cucumbers for me. My husband's over. And I knew there was some, I need to write stuff down when I'm editing recipes, when I think of something. Because then I forget. Because when I made the soup, I was like, there's too much of stuff. I forgot what I was going to do. Was I going to do less chicken? And my husband was like, no, you're going to double the tortellini. And it already called for like 8 ounces and I use a 19 ounce bag so I'm always already doing more than it says. But anytime they say 9 ounces of tortellini, I always get the 19 pound bag, 19 ounce bag because 8 ounces doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to clip this and then add it to the soup. Got more cotton rounds. More granite wipes. They were out of the big thing so I got the smaller Clark's wipes. More chicken broth. 
peanuts for my pup. My ice cream. Got some of this. And I got some empty bottles. One for that. And then they're like 98 cents. So one if I need something else. And then more energy drinks for my husband. And I also got a 48 pack of water and our his Dr. Pepper and my diet Dr. Pepper. Okay, I just opened some book mail. I had no idea what it was, but it was book mail. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize this. He contacted me on Instagram and asked if I'd be interested in, I said, like an early manuscript of Rise of the School for Good and Evil. <laughs> Rise of the School for Good and Evil. And so, of course, I said yes. <laughs> and that was a couple months ago. And it came. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, I didn't notice that either. It said, and it's got my real name. And he signed it, and it says out of 100 so cool oh my goodness and it's got a dear reader letter from someone i'm gonna cry <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> crying and evil is my favorite series of all time and it means a lot to me <laughs> And anytime I change my profile picture, I always hold up the first book of School for Good and Evil. To be one out of a hundred people. And this dear reader letter was so... And then to have it... Made out. Signed, um, to me. Yeah. Just so grateful. <sighs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I can't wait to read this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Just the fact that, I feel like five out of 100, the fact that they noticed me at all and to include me in that and noticed my love for the series and how much of us, like that just means the world to me and it makes me so happy. Thank you so much. Also, my copy that I ordered, this guy over Rebecca by Matthew Fox came in, so I'm very excited about that. I'm going to try to stop crying. Alright y'all, that's it for this weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you would like to subscribe, I would love that, if you'd like to. And I'll see you in my next video.